Thank you to all of the coaches who make up the IBCA. I regret that I cannot be present this evening. As much as I tried to convince them, my docs would not let my second hip replacement wait. I'm totally honored and humbled to be the first recipient of the Ron and Rich Heron Award. Ron and Rich Heron have given their lives to their players, to Illinois coaches, and to the great sport of basketball. The brothers Heron represent everything that is good about coaching. Many fans have sincerely loved the sport of basketball, think that coaching is nothing more than putting on your Sunday best and going dancing on the sideline every Friday night. They have no idea the Friday night prancer has spent years sweeping floors, taping ankles, washing uniforms, and driving buses. They have no idea the Friday night preacher has spent years preparing practices, mentoring young coaches, scouting, and teaching life lessons to their players. They have no idea that the Friday Night Pilgrim has spent years forging the tough love relationships necessary to produce successful teams. And oh yeah, all of this Friday night dancing, prancing, preaching, and pilgriming has been done after teaching five classes a day all week long. Rich and Ron Heron have given their entire lives to all the work in the trenches required to earn the title coach. As Loyola University's assistant coach to Gene Sullivan in the 80s, I was blessed to meet and begin a relationship with Rich Heron when he was the head coach at Southern Illinois University. I constantly remember the class and gentle, tough spirit that Rich Heron used to engage and counsel this and all young coaches. Rich Heron's trademarks were a Saluki maroon jacket and SIU logoed glasses. Rich Heron's passion was to let every coach know that we were a community of coaches in this together, no matter how fiercely we competed for players or how fiercely we competed to win a game. I would like to thank all of you IBCA coaches, women and men, who every hour, day, month, and year work behind the scenes in the trenches of, trenches of coaching. I would also like to acknowledge Chuck Rolinski for his years of service to the IBCA. We would not be here but for Chuck and so many IBCA founding fathers, too many to mention. I would also like to acknowledge Mike Small for over 50 years has been champion, the champion of girls basketball behind the scenes with no fanfare long before Title IX and an Illinois State Girls Championship ever existed. The IBCA Hall of Fame is a work in progress and needs everyone's help. Pontiac is its home. Everyone in this room needs to pitch in and compete to make the Hall of Fame, our Hall of Fame, the best celebration of basketball in the nation. Tonight's, Rich, tonight's Heron Award is a DePaul Award. I would not be standing out here without DePaul's Ray Meyer giving me the opportunity to compete at DePaul. DePaul and Loyola IBCA Hall of Famers Frank McGrath and Gene Sullivan are two men who lent me their shoulders and carried me. Gene Lenti Ponsetto is the absolute best and in the best AD in the country and the best captain I have ever coached. Thank you, Jeannie. No camp coach can survive without great assistant coaches and great players who are, more importantly, great people. Thank you to all of my assistants, present and past, and to all of my players. Finally, we all choose to spend our time coaching other families' kids. Thanks to my wife, Patty, of 45 years, and my six sons, represented tonight by my son, David, a former St. Ignatius All-Catholic Leaguer and four-year DePaul letter winner. The Heron brothers and the IBCA are absolutely the best.